This cave is a death trap. It nearly took the life of one of my favorite fish. And yeah, I thought, let me tell you what happened so you can be aware of the dangers that this cave and many other aquarium ornaments have. Also, for anyone who's interested, I've got a bit of a health update for you guys. As some of you know, I've been ill with this cough since November. And yeah, I recently went to the hospital to get some x-rays done and people, I honestly can't believe the results. But yeah, it's a bit long to explain, so I'll leave it for the end of the video and for now let's talk about how this cave is a death trap now on first glance this cave seems to be perfect it looks really natural and it originally comes with some leaves on it as well me personally i took the leaves off because i didn't really want the fake leaves in the aquarium and instead i just put some real plants around it to make it look even more natural and yeah it just blends in with the natural scape so perfectly especially after it's been in the tank for a while and yeah this is why i like this cave so much i've literally got two of them in my fluval row 200 and i've had them in there for years and i've never had a problem with any of them but yeah it turns out that this cave does actually have one thing that makes it quite dangerous for your fish and the thing that makes this cave so dangerous for your fish is that loop right there take this in people last week my mom calls me in the morning and wakes me up and she's like you need to come downstairs there's something going on with one of your fish and like, i immediately jumped out of bed and ran downstairs to see what's going on and people i don't know if you've noticed it but i've got some very special rainbow fish in my fluval roma 240 you see the normal rainbow fish they kind of have this half blue and half yellow look and half of my rainbow fish are just that however i've got two male rainbow fish in that tank that is a specific grade i think they call them super reds or super orange and they've got this really really bright orange color and you can really see the difference between them and the other normal Bosmani rainbow fish and they are incredibly rare like I've only seen them once and that was in wholesale tropicals and after I bought them I never saw them again and yeah I got downstairs I looked into my fluval Roma 240 and one of my special rainbow fish was literally wedged into that loop. People, I actually couldn't believe it. And the fish was not moving at all. I was pretty sure it was dead. Now, people, I wish I could show you some footage, but of course I didn't have the time. I put my hand straight into the aquarium and pushed that rainbow fish back out. And yo, people, I have to say, he was wedged in like it took me a good 10 seconds to actually push him out of there now if you find yourself in that same position make sure that you don't push that fish through you see one of the main reasons why fish get stuck is the fact that they can't swim backwards i mean some fish can like the ghost knife fish for example but majority of the fish like tetras and rainbow fish and angels they can't swim backwards so the reason they actually get stuck like that is because they try to go through their body is too big but because they can only swim forwards they keep trying to force themselves through and that's how they get wedged in so you always always want to try and push them back out from the way that they came in because if you just try and push them through that's going to be so painful for that fish so yeah i know it seems pretty obvious but i thought i'll mention it just in case because when you find yourself in that situation it's very easy to kind of forget about all the basics but yeah, anyway let's say this was the fish and he was stuck this way i used my hand to kind of push him out that way and luckily it worked but of course the stress wasn't over yet i was looking at my rainbow fish and he had this horrible mark at the top of his body and he had a little mark underneath like you could really see the points of contact from the cave where the rainbow fish was wedged in and honestly people i wasn't really sure what to do i mean i don't have a quarantine tank so i didn't really have the option to scoop him out and put him in a separate tank i mean technically i could have put him back into my fluval roma 200 but at the same time the rainbow fish just went through such a stressful experience i didn't really want to move him about or anything like that so yeah i kind of just had to wait and see what happens now people all of this happened last week and i kind of wanted to wait a little bit before i filmed this video because i wanted to see what happens to the rainbow fish and people i am so happy to say that it looks like my rainbow fish is completely fine the top part of his body has started to heal the dent at the bottom you can't see at all anymore and he eats completely fine and he's acting completely natural like if that rainbow fish stopped eating 
completely or if he went into one of the corners of the aquariums and kind of became very antisocial, that would have been a really bad sign and it probably would have been an indicator that our rainbow fish is probably going to pass away soon. However, with the amount of energy that my rainbow fish is showing, I am pretty confident that he's going to be alright. A true soldier, man. Now, the real question is, what can we learn from this experience? And I guess the biggest lesson that I'm taking away from this is always think about what fish you have in your aquarium before you add in new ornaments. You know, whether it's small holes in an ornament or even with wood, sometimes the branches can be really tied together and it could potentially cause a risk for fish to get stuck in. So yeah, the main lesson is always, always think about the fish you have in your aquarium before you buy an ornament and look out for any safety hazards. Now with this cave, I'll be real, I did not think that this little loop could pose a danger, but as you can see, literally anything can happen. Always keep in mind, fish can't swim backwards. Once again, some can, but the vast majority can't. Something similar actually happened with my Maury eel. She didn't get stuck or anything, but she went inside one of the really small holes of one of the fake caves and yeah even though she didn't get stuck i just did not want to take that risk so i just took that cave out i've actually made a video about it i'll put it up here somewhere if you want to watch it but yeah man always always think about the safety hazards and yeah just keep in mind literally anything can happen now in regards of keeping the cave in the aquarium the thing is people the ghost knife fish has made that cave her home and she seems very very comfortable in that cave and like i said i've got this exact cave two of them in my fluval roma 200 with fish who are the similar size as those rainbow fish like my congo tetras for example and like i said this has literally never happened before so i'm pretty sure it's a freak accident i will keep an eye out if it does happen again i will take the cave out straight away of course and if i do find a good alternative that i can swap out that doesn't have any dangers then that might be another reason why I take that cave out. But for now, I'm just going to keep it in and hope this doesn't happen again. <laughs> Alright, it's the next day, people. I just want to take a moment to thank you guys so, so much for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers. Yo, I... Ugh, people, your support honestly means the world to me. I can't believe it, man. Especially one week before my birthday, which is another thing I forgot to mention. Thank you so, so much for everyone who wished me a happy birthday. I'll be completely real. I wasn't really looking forward to my birthday this year. I turned 29 and... 29 is a bit of a weird year but you last year in your 20s and yeah there are many things that i wanted to achieve by the age of 30 that i still hadn't but yo i have to give a quick shout out to my mom and my brother and my auntie they made my birthday amazing man it was such a cool day i got some really cool presents my brother bought me this watch there you go my mom got me loads of cool stuff as well she got me loads of clothes they are in the wash right now she got me this thing it's like you can be a paleontologist now and she got me these aqua dragons or sea monkeys and stuff we might even try this out for the channel and also look i got these trainers man <laughs> they are so nice yo but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys really quickly and once again thank you so much for all of your support thank you for helping me reach 2000 subscribers and it honestly means the world to me now really quickly before my voice starts to go away again let's talk about these x-ray results and um yeah people i can't like i can't really believe the results man like they are so wild but i gotta give you a bit more context because otherwise they won't really make sense because yeah i'm like i'm a fairly private person i don't usually talk about things like this with my voice i literally had no choice but mention it because you know i lost my voice but yeah one of the things i didn't really talk about in my videos was the amount of pain i was in people we need to go back right to the start when this cough started like the cough came out of nowhere and it got very bad very quickly like it wasn't just normal coughs it genuinely felt like i was coughing my lungs out and my voice immediately started to go away now one week into that cough <laughs> I was laying in bed, like literally right there, and um, I was editing on my video, and I got a coughing fit again, and I heard the tiniest little pop right here, people. And as soon as it happened, oh my god, the pain was unimaginable. I wasn't sure what it was. I don't know if it was a little muscle string that twisted, or a nerve, or I don't know. All I knew, it hurt. 
so so bad and the worst thing is i was in so much pain but i kind of just went back into that position carried on editing and then i coughed again and it happened again and the pain got worse whenever i moved whenever i done anything i had the worst pain it felt like someone was stabbing me in my ribs man it was bad and of course every single time i coughed that movement oh wow yo it was an absolute nightmare and this was literally going on through the whole of november through december all the way to the start of january now i finally went to the doctors and they gave me some medicine which didn't do anything but they also booked me in for an x-ray and in february i finally had that x-ray done and we also got the results i don't know what it's like in other countries but in the uk we get a text message from the doctors and that that tells us about the results and people in that text message they told me that i had fractured ribs what yo people I literally could not believe my eyes apparently you can cough so hard that it literally fractures your ribs every single video that I uploaded in November and in December and like the first two from January in those videos I literally had fractured ribs people and I thought back to the time where the pain first started and those tiny little pops that was not a nerve bursting or muscle string twisting or whatever that was literally my ribs cracking from the amount of times I was coughing I can't believe it did any of you know this that did you know that you can cough so hard that you can literally fracture your ribs because I had no idea and even thinking about the amount of stuff I was doing with those fractured ribs like if I've got stuff to do I just get on with it so like with the aquarium maintenance for example I was literally carrying buckets on one hand and using the other to just put some pressure on my ribs so I can do it you know I carried on recording videos and I even went to the gym and that was one of the most embarrassing experiences I walked into the gym got changed and everything I tried to do a workout and I started with weights and just that movement alone I was like yep nope not doing it went back into the changing room and there were still people getting changed that were in there when I first walked in it was so embarrassing in regards of my lungs or whatever they actually didn't find anything they said in a text message there was no like infections or anything like that they only had evidence of fractured ribs which also were healed so there was no further action needed now in regards to this illness the cough has calmed down a lot if you compare my voice now to like a video back in december for example when i bought the stormy catfish 240 and i wasn't really sure what to get um i was thinking about getting a pleco and i was looking around and i did see a few nice ones yeah my voice has improved a lot but yeah anyway to round it all off people when it comes to aquarium ornaments always always be careful because they can pose some real serious dangers also once again thank you so much for helping me reach 2000 subscribers thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes and finally if you have a serious cough and you start to get pains on your side just know there is a chance that you have fractured ribs wow